Hi, I'm Katie Johnson, and today I have 21 cards to show you, all made with this stamp set. This is the Daisy Lane stamp set, and there are two punches that coordinate with it. So I'm going to turn my camera down, let's take a look at the product, and let's take a look at the projects. This is the stamp set, and the first thing I'm going to point out is that it has two different size daisy flowers. It also has this very pretty other flower over here that could be used to stamp in the background, but these two coordinate with punches. I like the sentiments in here because they're very generic. Smile, friend, the best moments in my life happen with you, and it's your time to shine. You do get a stem that you can use over here, and you do get this really pretty little uh, fern leaf that you can also use for doing some background stamping. Let's take a look at the punches. So I said you've got this small flower and you've got the big flower, and you also have two coordinating punches that would punch out those stamped images. All right, let's take a look at some projects. 21, start counting. So the reason for looking at all of these samples is I'm focusing less on the other stamps that are in the set, and I'm focusing more on just the flowers and the use of the flowers with the punches. So we're gonna start out with this one right here. This one just focuses on that large flower punch. I do have a silver glimmer center on this one. Here, I've got the large flower in yellow, and then I stamped or punched a circle to go in there, and that circle just coordinates with the designer paper. Here, the main focus would probably be that pretty designer paper. And this one, the backing for it is an embossed piece, and again, it focuses on just the flower. This one, for the center, I punched a small circle. This one, I punched a larger circle that actually goes out and covers up the area where the, the petals come together. You can also take those uh, flowers, punch it twice, and lay them one on top of the other, and then you get a much more full looking flower than you do when you just punch one alone. And of course you don't have to punch it from cardstock, you can punch it from designer paper as well. It looks just as pretty. And you can do the similar sort of thing with a small flower. So here's that small flower, again, just as a little anchor embellishment where the highlight up here is the real pretty embossing on those back pieces. So for this one here, we're actually using both the small and the large punch, one on top of each other in coordinating cardstock. Isn't that one pretty? And then of course we have a small, whoops, I it this way. We have a small flower and a large flower together on this one. And the center on this is just a bunch of rhinestones. All right, let's go to the next stack. Now for the next stack, I'm focusing on the fact that you can stamp it and then punch it out. So see how the stamp just perfectly matches with the punch? All right, there is one card just featuring the large flower itself. And there's the large flower, but doubled up so you get an even more full looking flower out of it. And here's another one with that large flower doubled up, punched twice, and then offset as you lay them on top. Here I used a great big gem for the center of the flower. There's another one. Look how pretty it is, and you get such a variety based on the colors that you choose to use. All right, so this one is a combination of it's stamped on one, and then on the darker pink, it's just layered behind it. So you get a real fun look when you coordinate the colored cardstock like that. The center of this flower is actually stamped. There's another one with coordinating cardstock. Now this one is punched three times so that you've got uh, one layer of stamped, one layer of stamped, and then layered behind with um, a coordinating cardstock color. And of course, you can put more than one on a card. So that flower, that large flower, it, you can fit two on. You can actually fit three on with that large flower. They work just as nicely. And here's three of the smaller flower by comparison. And this one is layered not only with the flower, but also layered with some leaves behind. You getting some ideas here? This one is both stamped, but it's the large flower and the small flower combined together, both of them stamped. And then just for comparison, there's no punching at all on this one. This is just stamped and heat embossed on the paper. So the, the stamp set looks wonderful by itself. It's not like you have to punch out the pieces. All right, for this one, I punched my flower and then I cut it in half 
and flipped the piece over and laid it down and then I punched a circle and laid that on top to get a little bit of a Black Eyed Susan look. This one is very similar. The difference is being on this one I stamped it. This one's not stamped. This one is stamped. This was a larger circle. This one was the whole circle instead of cutting that circle in half so you really get more of a cone flower look for that one. And then check out this. Isn't that pretty? So isn't that pretty with the stamping on the flower and then the petals making up her skirt. So thank you for watching and I hope you got some awesome ideas for things that you can do with the Daisy Lane stamp set and the two coordinating punches.